Determine the entry point for the nail located in line with the femoral canal in an AP view. And just anterior to where Blumensatz line intersects the anterior intercondylar notch on a lateral view. Insert the 3.2 mm guide pin through the soft tissue protector assembly directed down the central shaft of the femur. Remove the black pin guide and ream over the guide pin with the 13.5 mm cannulated entry reamer until the groove on the entry reamer is in line with the top of the soft tissue protector. The grooves represent how many millimeters the nail will be countersunk. The first line represents 5 millimeters. The 3.2 mm guide pin is removed and the 3.0 mm ball nose guide wire is introduced down the shaft of the femur using the guide wire gripper. Remove the soft tissue protector and measure the length of the ball nose guide wire with the guide wire depth gauge to determine the nail length. Measurement is taken at the black etch line. The 8 mm end cutting reamer is used to ream out the central path for the nail. Sequentially ream until cortical chatter is achieved. It's recommended to ream 1 to 1.5 mm over the desired nail diameter. Attach the nail to the retrograde radiolucent targeting guide. Introduce the nail over the ball nose guide wire. Complete the insertion with gentle mallet strikes on the targeting guide impactor pad. Remove the impactor pad and the ball nose guide wire. When the desired orientation of the targeting guide is achieved, insert the screw sheath, drill guide, and obturator assembly through the distal lateral hole until it contacts with the lateral cortex. Optionally, the outer sheath can be locked into place for added stability. Remove the obturator and drill bicortically with the calibrated 5.5 mm drill using the calibration marks on the drill to determine depth. Do not remove the drill. Assemble the condylar nut, hex driver, and condyle locking collet. A washer must be added to the condylar nut on the inside of the targeting guide. Drive the condylar nut through the femoral cortex and over the drill bit until the condyle locking collet is snug in the targeting guide. Remove the obturator, drill bicortically with a 5.5 mm drill, and remove the drill guide sleeve. Insert the 6.5 mm cancellous or cortical screw through the distal lateral hole with a washer on the inside of the targeting guide. It is recommended to subtract 5 to 10 mm from screw length when using condylar nut to achieve desired condylar compression. The medial T-handle assembly, lateral hex driver, and screw sleeve are removed. Insert the screw sheath, drill guide, and obturator assembly through the proximal lateral hole until it contacts with the lateral cortex. Remove the inner trocar and drill bicortically with a 5.5 mm drill using the calibration marks on the drill to determine depth. Insert the 6.5 mm cortical or cancellous screw using the 5.0 mm hex driver using the laser mark on the driver to determine depth and remove the screw sleeve. Repeat the screw insertion process through the anteromedial hole in the targeting guide. This process is repeated with the screw sheath, drill guide, and obturator assembly through the anterolateral hole on the guide. Remove the obturator, drill bicortically with a 5.5 mm drill, and remove the drill guide sleeve. Insert another 6.5 mm screw using the 5.0 mm hex driver using the laser mark for insertion depth and remove the screw sleeve once complete. For a proximal fixation, use the drill sleeve to drill bicortically using a perfect circle technique. Screw length is measured using a measuring sled reading off the green stripe. A standard depth gauge may also be used. Insert a 5.0 mm screw using the short hex driver. 
Repeat the process twice to insert another two adjacent 5.0 mm cortical screws. Uncouple the targeting guide from the nail with the ball hex driver and remove it to complete the nail implantation.